Hi there, it's Fiona Gosling from Roy LePage. Wanted to let you know that our stats are now up on our website, so those can be found at fionagosling.com or by clicking on the link below in this email, and that'll take you right to the stats page, and you can have a look at all of the graphs and numbers that are up there. If you did have any questions about those, feel free to give me a shout. But to give you just a quick general overview on what's happening in the real estate market, there have been a lot of headlines, uh, but things are starting to move now. Properties that are priced properly, uh, that are priced based on comparable sales that happened at, in the early part of 2017 or in a comparable month in 2016 are starting to sell. We're back to the basics. Things need to be uh, prepped going onto the market and showing as best they can. They need to be staged properly. They need to be marketed properly. Uh, you need to make sure that somebody is working in your best interest and doing good follow-up and trying to bring in agents to that property and they're able to negotiate a strong deal. But with all of those factors working together, if you've priced it properly, your house will still sell in this market. And we've started to see that with the statistics and you'll be able to see that from the charts on the site. Um, when we're looking at detached homes, the average sale price is the highest that has been since May. So the average sale price is on the way up. Uh, and it's, noteworth, it's worth noting that the average sale price throughout all of 2017 is higher than it ever was in 2016. So our numbers are still up over 2016, despite media headlines to the contrary. Uh, the median sale price in detached houses also seems to be increasing in an upward trend there. Uh, condominium townhouses are down. Uh, slightly over to September 2016, but not by a ton. We saw a big flux in the price in through the early part of 2017, and they've come back down to around where they were in September 2016. Uh, the median sale price has leveled off in those. When you look at condominium apartments, they've been very buoyant. The average sale price has had its best year on record in September 2017. Uh, all throughout 2017, condominiums have done very well. Uh, the median has also increased over last year, so that's a, a very strong part of our market right now. Part of that could be attributed to downsizers moving out of larger family homes and into uh, condominiums. We don't have as many condos, and the ones that we do have that are well appointed and done up do seem to be selling well. Freehold townhouses are down in price. Uh, but the median sale price is up a little bit in that price in that product. So it really goes to show that real estate is a micro market thing and it depends on both your product and your area. On the site, you'll be able to see a graph that shows the number of transactions that happen in particular neighborhoods along with the average sale price in that neighborhood. And you can go back historically, we track that every month. So you can go back historically and see what's been happening in your neighborhood. Or if you'd like to not spend the time doing that, you can just give me a shout and I'd be happy to give you a summary of what's happening in your micro market and your neighborhood and what's selling there. Uh, and I'd be more than happy to put that together and take care of you in that way. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. And if there's something you would like to see here or communicated on our site, please feel free to ask or let me know because I just want to make sure I'm providing the proper information to you. Take care and talk to you soon.